All right, radio fans, this is Dan. I'm back from Potomac, Maryland. Uh, today I have uh, one of my many receivers here in uh, the Radio Shack. It's the Watkins Johnson WJ8718A MFP. And the MFP, as uh, those of you who want to know these radios uh, understand, means multiprocessor, multiprocessor front panel, which basically adds the keypad, which is right here, adds the keypad uh, and all kinds of other uh, key options uh, to the old radio which just had the single uh, tuning knob. Uh, this particular model is the one hertz version of this receiver. It's a very rare uh, version of this. You almost never see the one hertz on the open market. As you can see the LEDs go out to one hertz. Uh, there you have of course the uh, BFO window, the fine adjust, the keypads uh, to control also the hundred memories that this receiver comes with and uh, you have the channel selector indicator there. Uh, you have the selectivity on this receiver goes from 0.3 to 1, 3.2, 6, and 16. It's a very wide option they give you, uh, which is good for listening to some of the uh, you know, nicer, stronger stations like, for example, here's Radio Kuwait, and we'll switch from the 6 position to the 16 uh, kilohertz position. And back to the 6, back to the 3.2. Uh, above that, you have the uh, gain control. You have uh, manual, slow, fast, uh, BFO options. The mode options include AM, FM, uh, lower, uh, lower sideband, upper sideband. You have uh, also the option of ISB independent um, and CW variable and CW fixed. And that enables you to fine tune. And in fact, you can lock in. Uh, the offset of the BFO to make up for any frequency deviation which on these receivers is very very slight. Uh, here you have the other buttons, a line signal for the S meter audio and uh, line. Uh, you have the uh, the byte test for uh, self uh, uh, self testing of the receiver and you can uh, set the scan modes. Uh, the power button and you have the phone for uh, regular speaker output, line audio level and you also have the independent sideband and you will have the uh, RF gain. Uh, this particular uh, WJ uh, when I uh, got it was uh, obtained ag again through uh, actually a private auction. Uh, it's, uh, I put it in a uh, beautiful bud cabinet and these are of course available. This one was, uh, it was fitted exactly into this bud cabinet and as you can see it's a very nice receiver uh, and it looks very nice with some of the other ones like the Drake SW8 at the top and uh, previously reviewed uh, GRC 301A and um, we have the AOR 3030 up at the top as well and a little tour uh, we have uh, Drake R7A complete with the RV75 VFO and a uh, little Drake speaker so we'll review those other receivers now but uh, at another time but today it uh, was the WJ and before I go, I'll give you a little tune on it. It's uh, mid-afternoon here in Maryland, in the east coast of the U.S. So we'll go down to uh, 11785, 11775, which is Anguilla. God's nature, his eternal nature, touching that... Uh, right there, for those of you who are uh, hardcore DXers, you see uh, uh, Radio Zanzibar, which is coming in quite well um, on and off here in recent weeks. And we'll go down further, uh, 11.6. Quite some strong signals down there at 11.6. That will give you an example of the uh, keypad here, 1.5 and megahertz, goes up to WWV. There's 115, 19 meters.
-hmm. Anyway, that's it. Uh, a little tuning on the WJ, and we'll be back with another radio uh, pretty soon. See you later.